Hello fellow crafters, today we are creating another castle model, my favorite design of all times, the Minas Tirith from Lord of the Rings.
So the general design looks quite complicated uh, and if you want to replicate it, it will be quite a detail, uh, cumbersome, detail heavy project to take on. But it's not as difficult as it looks like. If you are, if it is hard for you to think in three dimensions, so to say, in order to plan what you need to do, it would be quite easy for you to split it up in different uh, planes, so to say. First of all, you can just draw on the paper the general shape of the castle from above. As you can see, it has kind of a acorn shape where there is a a quite prolonged semicircle on the sides and a small head, so to say. It is not really a circle, it is quite pointy, which is also depicted in the movie. If you are looking at it from the front, it really looks like quite a narrower, uh, much like quite a shallower curve, but from above it is much pointier. <clears throat> So, you can just draw this shape and then, based on that, plan where you need to uh, kind of um, create these different level uh, borders in order to put as much levels as there are. It is quite difficult to uh, measure the distances uh, for these different levels. It was quite hard for me in this initial stage where I was just creating level uh, uh, positions like uh, the these uh, depths of them where I needed uh, quite a large area for each one of them in order to at least fit one building. As you can see the first ones are quite um, easy to do like there is a large room here there is a room here too but after that it is uh, really quite tight fitting so to say only one row of buildings are present there another uh, difficult thing about this project is the symmetry it was quite difficult to achieve the same levels on the both sides i had to add chunks and remove them plenty of times in order to replicate this uh, look. So there is two basic uh, texture you need to create. The first is plain for walls, for buildings, quite angular, uh, not very natural and orderly. And second one is the rock, the mountain side, which needs to be uh, distinctive uh, from the building area. Uh, and I have uh, utilize the painting uh, in order to separate them as well. As you can see, uh, on the rocky uh, areas there are spots which are of an original color of the clay, not painted in gray color. This is uh, uh, due to my imagination of the rocky surface look where there will be some kind of dirt, uh, maybe some kind of um, vegetation uh, and shadows as well, uh, which are quite uh, easy to uh, create with uh, these bumpy spots. You just take a brush and go over it, you can see it live, um, how I'm doing in the video edit, edit as well. I also try to create some kind of cracks, uh, uh, alongside uh, some kind of uh, mm, tunnels as well and so on in order to give it more a realistic look as much as I could. Fortunately this uh, noise as well conceals them and makes it uh, much better looking. Um, of course if you go closer and look at uh, like, um, some specific areas you can see some uh, irregularities of painting, sculpting and so on but on the grander version it is quite easy to uh, uh, lost, to lose. Also I've uh, found some difficulties uh, with uh, building ideas uh, so to say and that's why I have 
often uh, used some um, uh, continuous designs. There are several of them, you can probably spot without me telling you about them. There is this kind of uh, repetitive shape of this tower, uh, which also comes in shorter uh, version. Here it is. Uh, there are buildings, these type of buildings, uh, which also come in different uh, shapes and sizes. Some of them have this kind of towers integrated in them, uh, like this. Uh, some of them uh, have like this uh, and so on. And yeah, that was it. I hope you enjoyed this project. I definitely did. It was my dream to create Minas Tirith. Uh, the castle of castles, uh, my favorite one, definitely uh, it looks quite gorgeous, especially next to my other projects. Unfortunately, it's not the largest one, uh, the area-wise, it is still the Winterfell, which is uh, on the area-wise is larger, but because of this uh, 3D style, Maybe dimension-wise it is uh, much uh, prominent, so to say. Uh, in the future I maybe will try to add more details on it. Unfortunately the scale does not really allow me to do so for humans. I was also uh, planning to add dragons flying around, uh, like replicate the fight. Uh, but even dragons are too small for me to use any type of wire or my large fingers in order to sculpt them on this scale, like how large the dragon wingspan is going to do to be on this scale, like something like this. Yeah, I cannot create this size of a dragon, unfortunately. I wasn't really able to create the tree there as well. <laughs> Uh, and uh, not talking about human soldiers and so on. This scale did not really allow creation of something like that. Uh, this one is definitely going to uh, make my uh, earth to create castle, uh, castles to be uh, quiet for some time, but uh, definitely uh, leave your uh, suggestions for a castle designed to recreate or create for fantasy, video game, movie, book, and so on, uh, which can top this one. I'm pretty sure nothing can, but yeah, let's try and top this design. One more thing, I will link in the description the uh, great 3D uh, animation uh, uh, of the castle, which you can see from any angles, which really helped me in create creation of um, the project. and. If you plan to do so and replicate this one, uh, this 3D uh, will help you a lot as well. Have a nice day and see you next time. Goodbye.